How many people are ready for Marcy? <laughs> Folks, let her know with a big round of applause. Here's Marcy Kaplan. Hello, Sarasota. It is great to be here. So I spent my entire career as a healthcare executive and heard a lot of stories from doctors and nurses that are pretty funny. I thought I would share a few of those with you tonight. So I'm in my office, doctor walks in and he has an anal thermometer behind his ear. I said, Saul, what are you doing with an anal thermometer behind your ear? He says, damn, some asshole has my pen. Has my pen. <laughs> so Saul also told me about a woman that he put on a new medication, she called him. She said, Doc, do I have to take this medication for life? He said, yeah, I'm sorry, you have to. So after a moment, she says, oh my, I must be really sick. The bottle says no refills. <laughs> so an elderly couple goes to the doctor, get for their annual physical. The doctor says, you are in great physical shape, but mentally you're slipping a bit. And I suggest you write things down. So that night, they're watching TV. Earl gets up to go to the kitchen, and Marilyn says, "Hun, will you get me a bowl of ice cream? And you better write it down. He says, nope, you want a bowl of ice cream. She says, add some strawberries, and whipped cream and write it down. He says, no, you want a bowl of ice cream with strawberries and whipped cream. A few minutes later, he comes back, hands her a plate, says, here's your bacon and eggs. She looks up and says, where's the toast? So, Don and Ruth are sitting in their rocking chairs. Don jumps up, puts on his jacket. Ruth says, where are you going? He says, to the doctor. She said, are you sick? He said, no, I'm going to get some of those Viagra pills. <laughs> Ruth jumps off her rocking chair, puts on her sweater. He says, now where are you going? She said, if you're gonna start to use that rusty old thing, I'm going to get myself a tetanus shot. So nurses have stories too, and one of the nurses, Louise, gets a call from a patient, and the patient says, can you tell me how Sarah Fink in room 302 is doing? She says, sure. Picks up the chart. She said, Mrs. Fink is doing great. She ate two meals, her blood pressure's down, we're taking her off the heart monitor. She'll probably go home tomorrow. The woman says, thank God, that's fabulous. Louise says, based on your reaction, you must be a relative. She says, no, I'm Sarah Fink in room 302 and I haven't seen my damn doctor in days. <laughs> so, a very attractive nurse goes to the psychiatrist and she says, you've got to help me. She said, every time a new doctor starts at the hospital, I seduce them, we have wild, passionate sex, but then I feel guilty and depressed for a week. But I do it again. He says, okay, so you want me to help you strengthen your willpower, reduce the urge to have sex. She says, hell no, I want you to figure out how, to, how I'm not to be guilty and depressed. So before I leave, I want to tell you about a dream I had the other night. Um, I was walking along the beach, and I see a genie bottle. So I pick it up, look at it, rub it, out pops a genie. Genie says, I grant you three wishes. I said, hmm. For my first wish, I wish I was the most beautiful woman in the world. Poof, I'm drop dead gorgeous. There you are. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. For my second wish, I wish I had a billion dollars. Poof, I have a billion dollars. Before I go for my third wish, the genie says, now for this wish, whatever you wish for, 
your husband is going to get 50% more. So I wished for a mild heart attack. Thank you, Sarasota.